Who are you and what do you do? Hi, my name's Ewan Spence. You might recognise me from such websites as www.twitter.com slash Ewan, all about Simeon.com and www. Hey, we've already done this once before. It's like Groundhog Day except 2.0.com. Yes, .com. because everybody who has tuned in live, we've, we've been talking for like, what, three hours now? And uh, unfortunately, we, we've done everything. We've done magic, we've done back rubs, we've got strokey head things, we've done little tweaks, like that, um, and, and we've discussed it. This I thought we talked good. that we weren't going to re record that part. That oh, was... oh, no, no, it's this part we weren't going to do. Yeah, it's this part we can do. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, so moving on from the fondling. Uh, I like the fondling. We, 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 I like we, Richie as well. F- 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 there's there's a, 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 a book expo. Yes! But we're not there. We're here in the building with the Blog World but we can Media be. Expo. We can be. We can apparently walk into the Blog Expo with our little badges. Yeah. Uh, so we're, we're here talking about the future of publishing. Are they doing anything up there talking about the future of publishing? So is it here? No. First of all, this is interesting because it's all good interviewers know you should never ask the same question twice unless you have a mistake. So... Because um, I asked it earlier? We did, right. yeah. Uh, so I'm, I'm asking it again, but I'm trying to pretend... <laughs> That it isn't all coming crashing down around us. I just want to make sure nothing's crashing into us. Oh, well, that would be fun, though. Oh, uh, it wouldn't. You know, not really. Get, YouTube has the funniest videos. Not going to happen again. Books. Books, yeah. You have to split off the, in- the industry and the book itself. The, the book, as a physical, tangible object, um, is always going to be there. I mean, we, we, we go back, you see books um, hundreds, if not thousands of years ago. Uh, and I think going forward, there will always be books as well. You know, in, in a thousand years' time, whatever retail retail experience will be retail um, there will still be you know a book of 50 fun things my cat does before breakfast on sale to go into whatever festive holiday period present thing you do and I think, there will always be books yeah, they, they're on the third edition now if I'm not only, mistaken only on the that. third yeah, third, yeah. yeah. No, so by that time you know they might not even be cats then <laughs> you know they might be a strange cross of cats and squirrels you know <laughs> and they'd be kirrells <laughs> yes know, as it were you know the, 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 the domesticated kirrells in, in 500 years in the cat no longer exists. Yeah, it would look That's like a, a cat, feature I would like. But it would have a big bushy tail, and it would stand on its hind legs and have opposable thumbs. That's kind of freaky, actually, if you think about it. Yeah, it's but really that's freaky. why they would have to have lots of fun things my Kirill does before Christmas. But then, that, 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 that's, that's book as content. Yes, yes, book as so content. But what about the book as in what because, it is? Because I think it's important to realize that the book has... As as an object will always be there. It has legs. Yeah. Not legs that it stands not, not, up not legs. on. No. Yeah, right. But, but it legs. will always have legs. So you will have book. The problem that the book industry have is the book industry. You know, when we Just seen, like the music industry. Just like the music industry, just like video and film and, and everything. They're not reacting. Now Well what, they are. They are reacting, but it's more like <laughs> Well yeah, they're react they're I'm going we're, with the cat metaphor. You're going with the cat. Right. Cat kill okay, again. Yeah. Now, interesting things about cats. You know, when the, when the male cat reaches the point of pleasure, it has barbs. I heard about so that. So it stays inside the woman until it's finished. the woman or the female. The female. Well, okay. Wh- whatever you I was do with say, your cat. You know, I'm not you know, here to pass judgment. How at all. else are we going to get Kirills? Right. So books. Yeah. So books. They have to be very careful. Because here, here's the thing. Now, this is the point. Now we're, we're now going to attempt to re- recreate something we did before. Very craftily. Did you know that there isn't a Harry Potter e-book? What? If only I didn't know that earlier when I you know. first told isn't me. Isn't it strange? I only I read a month no ago. I had no idea. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So, Harry Potter, arguably yep. the biggest uh, s- series of books in our time. Yep. Uh, Since Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, it and Ringo, e- and Paul. Well, that's not really our time, though. That's like not e- that's not in any anybody's time, really. Uh, at least nobody who's still alive. Methuselah is he is he still alive? I can't. Yeah, remember. yeah. I think he's kicking, kicking with the Rolling Stones and opening for them at uh, Candlestick Park. Oh, I thought it was somewhere in South America with uh, you know in some obscure village. Uh, hey, look, it's Dave. Whoa! Okay, so now we mug. Short attention span theater here. Uh, Next week on Police Squad. So books. They've got to evolve. Uh, yeah. They're, they're so not really paying attention. The, the Harry Potter does not have an e-book. Yeah, the announcement a, a month ago from um, whoever the publisher was, was that we're delighted that we're now going to be allowed to make an e-book of the Harry Potters and sell them online and such like. And I'm thinking, well, that's a bit crazy because there was an e-book of Harry Potter about six hours before the last Harry Potter book came out because the internet, in, in this sort of democratized, we will give it personification, 
decided it needed an ebook. Of course. Uh, so everybody went away, scanned it. You know, one person got a copy of the book, took a picture of every page. Everybody then parceled themselves out. Everybody wrote one page off the picture, put it all together, handed it to your team to spell check and all of that. So an ebook was created in, in a matter of hours. Wow. Now, admittedly, this is just for Harry Potter. If you go up and you, you try and find, say, for example, the latest Rick Reardon novel, uh, it, it's, there's not going to be as much clamour for that. Again, and this is where the book industry really needs to think unlike the music, the film, the TVs. You know, there isn't as yet a, mu- a, a, a book Napster. You know, Amazon Kindle is actually um, and smart thinking. You know, it's a bit like Napster. You can get lots of ebooks and they're easy to get. You know, it's reducing the barrier of entry. It's, it's making it really frictionless to get a book. This needs to be accelerated a lot more. One of the great things about music that made it so successful was you never really had a format war with music. You went from the LP, okay, you had different speed, but that was, that was easy enough. Then you went to the, the, the Philips DCC, the compact cassette, which we all know and love for our Walkmans. And then you went to CD. There, was, there, was, there wasn't really a format war. And okay, we had, we had Blu-ray. Well, it was kind of like mini discs and I mean, some... Yeah, like this, you're always going to have those, those little quirky Linux things at the side of things. But right. they're never going to be the great driver of any sort of innovation. It's just like music was music was music was music. You, you could pick up uh, a Walkman that I bought today and I could take a tape that my mum bought 30 years ago uh, and they would still play, you know. Now, when the music industry went online, because it was so easily movable and somebody invented mp3 you suddenly had this frictionless system now the only the only point of resistance was the music the industry right. not giving it out what's the in, what is the primary goal of the internet when it was designed by al gore it was to root round failure so the music yeah. industry is a failure is what you're so saying so the internet saw the the one point of resistance when darpa yeah music. when darpa set it up originally yes See, I, was, I was trying to be, i know you were trying to do that but it's like the al gore thing threw me off and i'm like i was trying to think of something pithy yeah, instead of like realistic i've got to try and keep you off balance right. that's the point of an interviewee I'm well on the i other think side of the sitting coin here now. in a kilt is throwing me enough off balance especially when you do not you cross see your legs bouncing. i got it i got it there we go again uh, didn't you do that in the other interview too i thought we were trying I, to do I, the same no, thing no we're again. not trying to do exactly the oh, same right oh sorry and see so the internet roots around the failure of the music industry. Right. Okay. And it did so very admirably. Very well. The same with film. It rooted around the failure of the, of the film industry to provide, you know, let's, let's face it, if I'm going to pay a pound to get a movie, okay, that's fine. If I have to be paid ten pounds to watch it on one device, that's more friction. You know, there's a reason things like, you know, people pay ten dollars a month to rapid share mega uploads because it makes it a very simple point. Um, and it reduces the friction that's needed. Now, TV, TV is actually uh, the TV industry is doing their best to They're evolving. Kind of make it yeah. as, to reduce the friction. Yep, yep. You still yeah, have some are. issues with Hulu Absolutely. not being available um, outside of the, uh, the countries, and the BBC iPlayer again. Although they're looking at an international license, they, they've they've kind of learned from the film industry that we need to make this available. You know, um, since you know Doctor Who is a great example. It used to be that there was a two-year gap. You know, now from airing in the UK right. to airing in the US, now it's a, it's a matter of four hours. It's really good. Know? And people are going, you know what, I can wait four hours and watch it on BBC America. You then see that it's edited and, and cut like crazy and then go off and get it anyway. But they're reducing the friction. Now, what the book industry needs to do is it needs to do what the TV industry has done and reduce that friction as much as possible. If I open a book, I want a barcode in the front. That barcode says, here you go, here's the text file. Do what you like with it. Does that lose the money? It might actually lose some, some short-term money. But if I buy Harry Potter 8 and there's a barcode at the front um, and I can download a text file or I can carry a 1.3 kilogram book around with me, I'm going for the text file. But I've already made the transaction. And because it is, it's a frictionless transaction, I've got what I want, where I want to watch it. Again, like your Walkman and your music tape, you can listen to you can listen to any tape on any cassette player, right. I want to be able to read the words of the author on whatever I've got, be it paper, be it Nook, be it Kindle, be it Windows Phone 7. Um, I also obviously would be an obvious exception because you have to pay 30% to Steve Jobs first, but you get the well, idea. Well, someone's going to get money somewhere. Indeed. Whether yeah. it's Amazon, but Apple. But the point is, if you can keep that low, if you can, keep, if, you know, if you can go for volume, you know, Cory Doctrine, for, for, for all of his interesting statements and everything, the biggest problem in the 21st century is not piracy, it's obscurity. Don't make it hard 
for me to find stuff. Don't make it hard for me to find books that I want to read. We, we talked in, in, in the previous card about a book, books that I read in my childhood by Hugh Walters. They're collectible editions because he only went into libraries. I don't want to spend that money on a book that I, I'm scared to open. I just want the words. And if, if, if the book industry can realise that books are still valuable, but the words are valuable as well, and we need to make it easy for people to read books wherever and whenever they want, that is what I would hope to see. Now, we are, as I said, we're starting to see that with the Kindle and the Nook. And again, I should be able to take a Kindle book and read it on my Nook, a Nook and read it, it on my it's, Kindle. It's not the medium, it's the message. Yeah. yeah. I completely agree. I'm a, not a fan of DRM in any way, shape, or form. I don't know. They had a really nice second album when, uh, when they did speak. No, sorry, that was OMD. Yeah. Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark. Yes. Indeed. I was a big fan. 10cc. You know what by 10cc we call 10cc? Do you know 10cc? Right, iTunes mission for this evening. Okay, fair enough. It's not going to be some dirty bits. Like no, 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 no. Just just get, um, I think it's, it's, yeah. All right, fair enough. Yeah. So, uh, okay, we're talking about the medium kind of changing. What about, like, the idea of a book? Uh, like, in terms of how it can evolve? Like, forget, okay, th- that we've covered the industry. What about the actual book? The idea, because right now, it's just me who reads the book. Yeah. And I can share that experience with other people, yeah. but it's not directly at the time okay. that I'm reading what, the book. What, what more do you want a book to do? Well, uh, you know, if I want to annotate something and ha- have that shared with a friend or know that uh, I'm reading at the same time or I want to uh, interact with someone, it's, it's disconnected right now. I can connect with, uh, you know, other people in a haphazard fashion, a blog, Twitter account, Facebook, whatever. But what about in the, the book itself? To take those notes that I make, not just inside the book, contextual, but you know, to be able to take them anywhere. I mean, we've got slices of this, but it's just not all in one. I mean, you know, we're there almost with the iPad or an Android tablet where we can interact with things, uh, but it's still piecemeal. It's not. It, it's not there. We're getting there, but it's just not you, there. There. You actually have an, an issue here that has plagued people for a huge amount of time, which is art versus money. You know, what you're talking about is something that is very... Um, um, artistic might not be the greatest word here. Scholarly might be a word as well. But you just want to have information that can move around freely, that's transportable right. freely, very open utopian society. Right. The problem is for that to happen, there needs to be there needs to be either the agreement that nobody makes money from it or the agreement that everybody shares quite happily. So you can, can you share notes between the nook and the kindle? No. So straight away you have a problem. Great. Okay? Great. So Never mind. I thought it was a good idea. I think it's a great idea. This is why you just write it down in the margins. Yeah, but you can't really... You can't share that live and in real time with somebody else. But I think the thing here, though, is storytelling is the sharing. You know, I think the, the sharing is, is the sitting around the campfire, uh, be it 2,000 years ago, 1,000 years ago, or in 300 years time when the apocalypse happens. I'm telling stories. I thought it was happening next year. Well, it happened actually three days ago. That was the rapture. That was a rapture. Only Bill Hunter, the Australian actor from Priscilla, the Queen of the Desert in Strictly Ballroom, he was the only person to actually go up there. There was really? a there was a world wrestling Ultimate Freedom fighting um, guy who got taken a result. Oh, two people R- Randy, got raptured. Macho, macho man. Two yeah. people got raptured. It's not that it didn't happen. It's just that only two people were judged sufficiently. Kind of, kind of sad, actually. Yeah. That those yeah. two of yeah. all the but people in the world. Either that or. Or they were the only two that weren't judged. We ah, might be in a copy of the Earth, yes. like the Matrix, right? Uh, and and Bill and Super Freedom Ultimate Fighter right. just left down there, going, "Show me the Matrix, Bill. What is the Matrix?" And and we're actually up here in little tiny eggs, like Lady Gaga, with crap in the back of our head, like connected somewhere. 